spontaneous jumps and try to attack with the controlled abandon that typifies American Steve Desovich's style. Well, the difference between moguls and, you know, your, your classic technique in, in uh, racing is that you have to devise your own technique to maneuver down the moguls, and that's not always on edge. It, it, it involves good technical scheme, but it involves even more strength and agility as well. Coach John Smalley elaborates. You know, the train is constantly uh, changing. There's no set mold course. Every mold course is different. The train's different. The snow conditions are different. And so it's very uh, demanding to the bump skier. But they are, you know, they're in shape for it. They're used to it. And uh, especially with their lower body, their thighs, lower back, stomach are in very good shape. So to the average person, it seems pretty demanding. But uh, to the bump skier, it's um, uh, another day of skiing. The freestyle mogul event consists of two forms of racing, either dual, head-to-head -head racing competition, or singles, where people like American national champion Haley Wolf are judged on technique, on the quality of their turns, and on aggressiveness. In a duel, you uh, prepare relative to the competitor that you're racing against. If you're skiing against a fast skier, you know you have to push yourself a bit more, or it's more of a race against the other person. Singles, you're skiing for the judges. You're not skiing against anyone. Calgary pre-Olympic gold medalist, Steve Desovich. In duels, you tend to go a little more faster, and it's a little more speed-oriented, and it's, it's a lot more exciting for the public to watch Super Bowl head-to-head. -head. And singles is just uh, a little stronger with the judging format. It more depends on the judges as than the skiers. Nelson Carmichael tells why he never tires of mogul racing. It's fun because it's addicting. You kind of get in a line of moguls, and they're coming at you fast, and uh, you, you're just going boom, boom, boom. You're making nice turns, but it's just it's spontaneous, and it keeps happening over and over and over, and you just want to do it again and again and again. They'll use the singles format at the Calgary Olympics, so form will take precedence over pure speed. 